jazz. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Dragon Force mother bunkers. <laughs> Dragon Force, baby. Warp Speed Warriors. Let's move you back a little bit there, thank you. Thanks. Yeah, I had to wear this again. It's probably a little messy since the last time I had it. No jacket for this one, but uh, you'd think it would. It's getting a little colder and chilly outside right now. But, anyways. Yes! I've been meaning to talk about this band, you know, uh, I've just kind of been ignoring it, uh, I've known about them for years, uh, most people would have, I knew about them from exactly the song you're thinking, just not in the way most people did. In fact, I knew about it before Guitar Hero, I knew it when I saw the music video for it, which is an awesome music video for Food, Fire, and Flames, of course. Uh, but I've never had a chance to really get into them, and then they decided to drop a fucking Zelda, Legend of Zelda tribute fucking song that you just heard um, in uh, The Power of Triforce. And I was like, okay, I have to cover this. <laughs> it's like, especially after having, you know, just went through Striker and Judas Priest. I, yeah, this was gonna be really covered, guys. I don't just... I mean, the Schwent Daddy had to come out and play when it comes to just, you know, when it comes to his, oh, yes. So, um, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, Dragon Force, I don't know if I can tell you whether or not this is better than any of the other Dragon Force records. I need a deep dive, to be fair. And speaking of that kind of stuff, I need to, I already did my deep dive Jesus Priest. At some point, I'm going to put it in the comment section of that video um, and post it eventually. Uh, I just need to get to it. Uh, I'm kind of being distracted and procrastinating a lot, so it happens. Uh, but anyways, the tracks here I'm trying to figure out which one that, like, Metal Trend just complained about. Because I'm having a hard time figuring out which one that is. Uh, because, like, Astro Warrior Anthem was awesome. Start. But Pirate Trappers was great. He was still pretty decent. Burning Heart was pretty cool. Space Marine Corps, I think, is about... Is a tribute to Warhammer? Um, the game Warhammer? I want to believe that's that. Because, but for a little bit, for some strange reason... I wasn't thinking it was that, and I was thinking it was like Starship Troopers or something, but Nergus is leading into the Killer Queen was great. This is not a bad kind of closer, and I think there's like a version. I don't. I'm trying to figure out this Wildest Dreams is a cover of some sort. Um, but I'm going to tell you if there is a track on here that I find kind of the weakest, and that I would just switch out the two between the two versions. It's the. The version that is just the band themselves on Doomsday Party is kind of weak in comparison to the initial version with with their feature from Elise Reed, I believe from Amaranthi. Um, I think, or is it Unleash the Archers? I can't, I need, I can't remember. Okay, don't, don't call me a mad brother. Speaking of Unleash the Archers, I'm may actually cover that new record. I may decide to finally get break and do something with that. Um, but till then, this is that record. I would say that, that that version is better than the initial version of Doomsday Party they went with. Because I felt like something was missing and it turned out it was that uh, when I listened to the version without it. Um, Because it added, a, she added and brought something to the party. Just like any any time you want to go to a party, and you know it's missing some, and it's, it feels like it's too much of a sausage fest. 
and uh, you need you need some babes, some righteous babes. We're sticking with the '80s theme. That's why I'm going to just say righteous babes, and you're just going to have to live with it and deal with it. It's my channel. That's how it is. But anyways, that's how she went, Daddy Rose. Anyway, this, mm, even though this is more nerdier compared to usual stuff, but these nerds know how to. These nerds know how to do it. T you up. I T you up. So. Have to get my head banging for sure, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no curly day. Uh, but anyway. Yeah, overall, I think this is actually kind of, at least the actual tracks listing here, it's, it's actually pretty solid, I'd say. I can't say for sure it's their best, but I definitely can't say it's their worst. And I'm told one of their songs supposedly is their worst. I don't know which one that is. I can't even remember. And I, from what I'm hearing, I don't think there really is that bad a song on here. I think most of this is, if you just switch out the Elise Reed featured version over the version without it, honestly be a straight banger straight up banger uh yeah um like just drawn horns up can't quite say master class but i'm sure there's some people that will like say it's not their best all this other bullshit uh blah blah blah, blah and they're maybe they are right subjective and they have probably maybe you more say but if they're going to be dickheads about it Fuck off and want to block it. Um, but anyways. What did you guys... Other than that, what did you guys think of this new Dragon Force album, War Speed Warriors? Leave a con also, Herman Lee. Some people probably also know for his him putting out his stuff on his Switch and all that. And he's a pretty good shredder. And, uh, it's weird how he bitches at people who do use the shred stuff. When he's done that thing, that was kind of funny. But anyways... <laughs> Um, yeah, this was awesome. Very, very, very awesome, actually. Well, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Did you guys have fun? What did you think? Leave a comment below. Let me know, as always, guys. Uh, keep it random. Keep it random. Keep it real. Keep it rocking. I'll see you in the next, I'll see you in the, see you in the next video. This is Rockin' Movies with Tyler. Or, in this case, Schwein Daddy. I'm Schwein Daddy. And, uh, take care, y'all. <laughs>